thrombocytosis is another uh, term thrombocytosis osis means increased platelet count we mentioned before the normal range of platelet counts from 150 thousand to 400 thousand so more than 400 thousand maybe uh, uh, thrombocytosis uh, reactive we will divide the causes of thrombocytosis into first reactive thrombocytosis reactive thrombocytosis means that platelet, uh, platelet count is increased reactive to another or secondary cause post hemorrhagic after bleeding post traumatic after trauma post operative after surgery and post splenectomy after removal of the spleen we mentioned before that the spleen is a place for the pooling or sequestration of the platelet so removal of the spleen will lead to release of the uh, more platelet into the blood and thrombocytosis also similar to the uh, splenectomy the splenic atrophy which occur in the uh, sickle and the other cause sickle cell disease and other causes of the uh, splenic atrophy like uh, in trauma or in uh, surgery or in inflammation or other cause chronic iron deficiency chronic iron deficiency uh, especially uh, uh, with bleeding leading to thrombocytosis increase in the platelet uh, production megakaryocyte uh, stimulation to, to release more platelet into to in order to make a primary platelet plug in order to stop the bleeding uh, chronic infection uh, also the platelet counts are increased in the chronic infection reactive release of the platelet from the uh, megakaryocyte from the bone marrow increase in the productivity of the platelets uh, cognitive tissue disorders like uh, immunological disorders of autoimmune or uh, alloimmune rheumatoid arthritis and other immunological diseases uh, malignancies carcinoma and Hodgkin disease all of these are reactive reactive release of the platelets uh, from increased megakaryocyte activity in the bone marrow while uh, the second uh, group of the disease that lead to thrombocytosis is proliferative proliferative means that increasing in the productivity of the myeloid stem cell we know from uh, previous lectures that the myeloid stem cell is the mother cell responsible for the production of the megakaryocyte and so the production of the platelets so myeloproliferative neoplasm as we talk in the uh, malignancy lecture mpns myeloproliferative neoplasm increase in the stem cell myeloid myeloid stem cell myeloid stem cells are responsible for production of the platelets so uh, we can uh, see increase in the platelet count uh, in idiopathic or in essential uh, thrombocytemia essential thrombocytemia it is increased in the platelets uh, without cause uh, second without secondary cause so it's called essential sometimes called idiopathic uh, thrombocytemia this is the first uh, cause the second uh, cause in the myeloproliferative neoplasm or second type of the myeloproliferative neoplasm is the polycythemia vera it is mainly increased in the rpc's production from the bone marrow in addition to uh, the platelets and sometimes white blood cells uh, myelofibrosis uh, in myelofibrosis there is increase in the fibrous tissue formation increasing fibrous tissue uh, increasing fibrous tissue in association with increased platelet thrombocytosis the first type of the myeloproliferative neoplasm is the chronic myeloid leukemia chronic myeloid leukemia mainly increased in the uh, white blood cells myeloid white blood cells myeloid myeloid white blood cells are all white blood cells except lymphocytes in addition to platelets so this is the four types or four diseases which are called myeloproliferative neoplasm in which we can see 
increased platelet count as you can see here collection or aggregations of platelet in the peripheral blood film hereditary or acquired coagulation disorder now we finished two types of the uh, coagulopathy we finished vascular we finished platelet and now we will talk the we will take the coagulation we will take the coagulation factor or coagulation disorders it may be hereditary hereditary may be acquired uh, coagulation pathway disorders due to single factor deficiency usually inherited as in case of hemophilia hemophilia a or factor 8 deficiency which uh, is the most common most common example in the hereditary or inherited uh, it may be uh, multi-factor not single factor in acquired so there is a simple comparison between the acquired and the inherited inherited uh, uh, mostly uh, single factor deficiency while uh, acquired most of the uh, causes of the acquired leading to multi-factor deficiency as in liver disease liver is the factory for senses of most of coagulation factor most of coagulation factor so many factors multi factors will be decreased dic it is a consumptive coagulopathy consumption of uh, many factors so most or multi factors will be decreased in the dic due to consumption massive uh, transfusion massive transfusion we mentioned before that it's stored stored the blood stored the blood in massive transfusion leading to decrease in the most of the factors so inherited or acquired single or multiple factors 